I'm Voodoo, and we're at Lakeland Harley Davidson. Behind me are the legendary Bash Brothers, and we'd love to see you here on the weekends. Every weekend, we got a little something special going on, so check out our website to keep uh, up and posted to see what we have going, and we'd hope to see you here. Right, guys, what do we got going on this weekend? I thought you had the, the list. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know what's going on this weekend, right? So, you want to tell them? Oh, no, oh, okay. So yeah, check, check our website, and you'll find out what's going on. There's always something different. Today's adventure brings us to Lakeland. Who are we gonna go see? The Harley Davidson dealer. The Harley Davidson dealer. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to remember that guy's name. So today we're gonna go inside and check it all out. We had several of you viewers that actually put down that you thought this was a great dealership. Let's go inside and see how great it is. Let's go. So today this adventure, we also made it out there to Lakeland, Harley Davidson. Check them all out. And we have a special treat today. We're gonna go check out the former owner. Actually has a bike, like a bike museum. Yeah. We're gonna go check that out. He's gonna tell us a little bit about it. So let's get to it and see what he's got to say. He's actually used to race bikes and his son still races bikes. And their names are Don and Donnie Huffman. So it's like our last name, but with a U. <laughs> so let's go check them out. And see what they got. They even got a shop here. They work on bikes and stuff, so it's kind of neat. So let's go take a look. All righty, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and ring that bell. Well, here's one of the electric bikes that's going to Atlanta for the race. Uh, this is just a regular regular setup. There's one of Donnie's drag bikes that we're not ready to race yet. But anyway, there's a normal week we got. Repairs. <laughs> we do, Donnie does most of the service work and stuff, and I do the complete rebuilds. This is a complete engine rebuild here. So we, we do it all. We'll go from, you know, just, just like the old days. We've got engine parts on the back. Uh, all the good stuff. Got band practice on Friday. <laughs> and uh, again, I, you know, I'm the one building engines. I got heads going together right here. I got the engine going together right there. Uh, this is a repair job. It's not a rebuild. Oh, nice that one's smooth. Yeah, <laughs> nice and pretty. Yeah, I got so a 117 inch sitting right there. We got a flow bench sitting right here that we haven't used in a while because we don't need we don't need it anymore for testing heads. We know what to do with them and all that kind of stuff. But uh, now you're going to go over to the two stroke museum ah. and you get an eyeful over there. Ah. And like I say, they're going to Atlanta this weekend. Actually, it's uh, what the hell is it? Can't think of the name of the town. But anyway. Pit bike, got a couple of race bikes in here. Uh -oh. Now who all races? Your son still race? Yeah, it's, he's, a, he's, he's the racer. The racer? He's wow. The racer. Bob goes along with him and does all the hard work for him getting stuff. You know, Repairing and Donnie fixing works it. on the bikes. Oh, they go. They like traveling. They they go to the race in. Uh, <clears throat> 62 sprint uh that's the first year well 61 was the first year for the italian bike this is 62 so and donnie was born in 62 so i bought us i had a 62 sprint but of course i sold it over the years then i decided i needed another one so this is original the way they come out in 62 and it was 
a good off-road bike. I really enjoy hmm. it. This is a Cafe Racer. In 77 and 78, Willie G. Davidson, and he was a designer, designed this Cafe Racer around a Sportster platform. Two 1942 military bikes. <clears throat> this one is a WLA. It's a 45 flathead. Harley Davidson built 88,000 of those for the for the government during World War II. <clears throat> it's a it's a chain drive and it's a, a three speed or kickstart and all that. And uh, the government said they wanted we need a motorcycle that's that's shaft drive. And so Harley Davidson didn't have a shaft drive, so they they got a captured BMW and copied it. And this is the this is the results here. <laughs> this is a this is also a 45 or 75 750 cubic inch, but it's got a post cylinder like the BMW, if you notice. <clears throat> but <clears throat> it's been changed to the American size, American threads. In other words, Germany had metric and but when Harley copied it, they changed it. It's even got the, you know, the, the regular Harley front fork that used on that bike, uh, the Harley generator, carburetor, uh, all that stuff, and instrument, gas tanks, all that Harley Davidson stuff that they'd already had. <clears throat> and uh, they made a thousand of these for the government. Uh, 1010, in fact. Never went to war with it. It was never taken overseas, but they, they some of them end up, ended up over there, because some ended up in Australia, I don't know how, but <clears throat> uh, WLA, they kept, they kept, they sent 66,000 over in Europe, and never brought, after the war's over, they didn't bring none of them back. So they all stayed over there in Europe. So every now and then you'll find one that's a, a Russian return or something. I bought my scooters. A lot of people didn't know that Harley Davidson made scooters. In 1960, 59, 60, to 65, they had a scooter. Automatic transmission. The, fault, the, the bad thing about it is no start. Hmm. Huh? That's just the way you had to start it. And, uh, and when you got it started, of course you take your hand off the throttle, you give it a little bit of gas, pull the this, and if it starts, away it goes. You gotta run and chase it down. <laughs> so they put a lock on the back wheel so that it wouldn't take off without you. But they, we've seen a lot of these with smashed up front ends. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> and this has a two-stroke engine, and there again, Gasoline goes in here, and no. Come on now. There's a place to carry two extra cans of, of two-stroke oil. Intake is here. There's one measure to a gallon of gas. There you go. Which was 25 to one. Now the, the new oil is so good that you can mix it at 50 to one. 50 parts of gas to one part of oil. But you see, it's gotten a me uh, measurements here for a half a gallon and a full gallon.
pretty neat today. We got to check out Lake Glen Harley Davidson. We also got to go over there and check out Don Hoffman's garage and that museum. It was pretty cool. Tell you a little history about him. He actually bought that dealership there in Lakeland back in 1970. What ended up finding out was, it you know, actually ended up being kind of a joke that uh, he didn't really have the dealership. He didn't fill out the right paperwork, so it was actually in the other person's name. So on April 1st of 1971, he officially became the oh, owner. Like <laughs> yeah, the franchise was his. We had that dealership from April 1st of 1971 officially and all the way up till 2014 so we had it for 44 years so checking out that museum we have a lot more video that we took of him explaining each one of those bikes but we didn't want to get it too lengthy so we want to kind of cut it off there but i mean he was a great guy his son there races i don't know how many of you have seen him racing donnie if you have put down there in the comments that you've seen them racing and you know who he is be kind of neat and where you've seen him race at yeah so that's kind of neat uh they were actually loading that trailer up and going up to georgia which would have been this weekend that they would have been there so that's kind of neat you won't see this video for probably two weeks after leesburg look behind us that's the leesburg rally coming together yeah it's getting there by the time you see this video it'll already be over <laughs> we'll be on our way to panama city so we'll go ahead and leave you right here uh we're not in lakeland anymore toto we're it's in uh, leesburg, leesburg. So thanks for coming along today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share us with your family and friends. Give us a big thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. And we'll see you on the next video. See you coming up soon. Keep up with all these videos.